Hi guys, just give me a second. Um, I'm having trouble with my camera. Just give me a second, guys. Okay, I think now it's okay. All right. Hello, guys. Um, welcome to our class today. How are you guys doing today? Pretty good? Good evening. Good evening. How are you guys doing? Good evening. Hi. How are you guys doing today? Pretty good? No, uh, not so good. Yes, pretty good? Fine, with the hard work. With the hard work, yeah, I'm, I'm sure. Yeah. Oh, well, yeah, that happens, that happens, right? But, well, the good thing is we're in the middle of the week. So uh, that means that we are, we, uh, we're almost done, right? So we only have two more days to go and we're finished. All right, guys. Well, um, to begin with, uh, let's uh, take our attendance. So... Um, Hold on, let me get this. Okay. Just a second. Okay. All right, guys. Um, so we'll start first of all with um, our first on the list is Ana Claudia. Present teacher. Welcome, Ana Claudia. Thank okay. you. Um, and is uh, Javi to be here? Yes, present. I'm here. Okay, wonderful. Welcome, Javi. And Andres? Is Andres? Present teacher. <laughs> Okay, good. Welcome, Andres. And Dennis? Is Dennis here? Dennis? Dennis? All right. Uh, present teacher. All right, welcome. Present. Um, and Edith, Edith Jorleni, Edith Jorleni, not here. Okay. Um, what about Edwin? Is Edwin here? Okay. Edwin, can you? Yes, yes, okay. yes, yes. All right, wonderful, excellent. Um, Edwin, could you do me a favor? Um, can you write your complete name? Uh, okay. Yeah, if you could do me that favor, I'd really appreciate that. Thanks. Uh, Fabiola? No? Okay. All right. Heidi? Present teacher. <clears throat> All right. Welcome, Heidi. Um, are you able to turn on the camera? Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. Okay, there, there she is. All right, welcome, Heidi. And I read. Morning. Sure. morning. Oh, sorry, morning. Good evening. I already want it to be next day. <laughs> okay, um, Irene. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Good evening, Irene. Welcome. Thank you. And Ivan, is Ivan here? Ivan? 
Not here, Ivan? No? Okay. All right. Uh, Josue? Josue? Josue Alberto? Josue Alberto? Are you here? Um, I can see that he's connected, but I don't know. Are you there, Josue Alberto? I guess not. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> um, Juan Francisco? Present picture. Okay, welcome, Juan Francisco. And Jerry? Jerry? Present teacher. Okay, welcome, Jerry. <clears throat> Luis? Thank you. Present teacher. Okay, welcome, Luis. Thank you. And um, Manuel Alejandro? Manuel Alejandro, no? Okay. All right. Um, what about Natalia? Present, present. All right. Welcome, Natalia. Um, is Wendy here? Wendy? Teacher. No, welcome, Wendy. Okay. <clears throat> and Warner? Is Warner here? Warner is not here. Mm, okay. And Yvonne? Present. Okay. All right. Welcome, Yvonne. Thank you. <clears throat> and um, Edgar uh, Enriquez? Yeah, I'm here. Okay. Welcome, Edgar. And Ellie? Present. Okay, welcome, Ellie. Thank you. What about Jose? Jose Montes. Present. Okay, welcome. Thank you. And is Jose Wilfredo Ayala here? Yes, present teacher. All right, welcome. Okay. All right, I'm just going to make sure that I have everybody because I didn't hear everybody's. So let me just make sure that I didn't miss somebody that is here. Edith? Edith Yorleni? Fabiola? Ivan? Josue? Um, Manuel Alejandro, Warner. Present teacher, good evening. Oh, welcome Warner. Okay, good, excellent. All right, so that's it then. Um, I think we have- uh, Sorry, miss, uh, I was working right now. Oh, oh, there he is, okay. Yeah, where, what did you say? I'm working right now. Oh, you're working. Okay. For the reason I, I didn't hear when you pass assistance. Okay. All right. All right. No problem. Thank you, Josue. Okay. All right. Okay, guys. Well, welcome to today's class. Um, good to see you once again. Um, I have a question. Anybody um, is having problems with the platform? Something I can help you with? Mine is has been has been resolved. Uh, he said, fix it in thirty seconds today. <laughs> oh, wonderful! Yes. Okay. Good. Good. Okay. Anything um, else? Me, teacher, because uh, yesterday I have the left after the class. Uh, I did the homework, mm -hmm. but I don't know if the for the upper letter or the or la minuscula. Because the 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 wrong answer itself, but I I did with the correct answer. 
represent, I don't know, but I report in, in the in WhatsApp, but I didn't receive any any answer because the evaluation uh, the, the evaluation is the, the points is very low. Okay, but what did you write? Uh, I did the five the five questions. Huh, but what did you write? Uh, four? No, well, like what was your answer? And the oh, the I, I I read the for example the the first answer I think it is a bigger bigger than that and 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 screen and he put a bigger than he me salió mala. Did you write the complete sentence or you just wrote? Yes. The sentence? No 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 only the adjectives. Only the adjective. Mm -hmm. In the brackets. Mm -hmm. Sir, they, I resolved that problem and the teacher helped me that what is the correct way that we are going to write that sentence. And just you are going to write a specific uh, answer that the question and the is adjectives. asking. Yes. Yeah, you're supposed to only write the answer, oh. not the complete sentence. Uh-huh, yes, the, 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 the answer is, for, the answer is, is correct, Natalia, but the, the the problem is the is uh, the uh, uh, sorry I don't remember that is say a um, minuscula. Uh -huh, the the but and I I read the the first word the first letter. First letter. Sorry. The first letter is an yes. upper. Yes. Me for. It's a, but but your maybe, maybe I, I don't know but maybe that yeah it, it might be a question of um of uppercase letter maybe you are writing with an uppercase letter the answer should be in lowercase letter mm -hmm. okay maybe but, so maybe that's the answer and then oh, I did it in cell phone hmm. and sorry. I did the answer. I, I did the homework in the cell phone. Oh, okay. So maybe try it. Uh, if it's like try it in the cell phone again, doing it with a lowercase letter. And if that doesn't work, then maybe go to another de um, device, like maybe a computer, and maybe it works with the computer. Okay. But you but you will take it like a wrong answer or a correct answer. No, like the, the platform has an answer that it will accept. So you have to write that answer for the platform to accept it as correct. If you do not give that answer, the platform will not put it as correct. I got the first one you had the issue with, I got it correct. But remember the instruction, it says use the adjectives in brackets. So not only, you need to write the correct answer. Yeah. So, uh, not only the adjective, the adjective plus what we saw yesterday. Yes, only the adjectives. No, no, no. That is incorrect. There are two words that you need to write down right there. But I have problems with the same uh, parecido. Uh, more beautiful than. Okay. Let, let, oh. me, let me share my screen and maybe that will help um, to, um, to solve any, any questions that you may have. Okay, so you can see the, you can see it, right? Yes, yes, yes. we see it. All right, so tell me, Natalia, what did you write here? Bigger than. Did you write it like this? Yes. You sure? But the uppercase, uppercase oh, letter. Yeah, okay. I can show you because I, I take okay. a, a screenshot. Okay, okay. All right, so if I write it in uppercase letter, okay, if I write yes, it like this it. and I send it, I'm gonna get it. Oh, actually it's gonna be right. <laughs> okay, so there you go. So see, it's right. 
the the platform will accept it even if it's uh, teacher uh, i think the problem is not the capital it's letter basis. because i write uh the first uh with In lower uh, case. yes me too and, and it's correct and number four and number five with capital letter but i have a problem with number two and number three yeah. Oh, yeah. I have the same issue. Uh, I, I, I send it. Exactly. And I send them the, the, the screenshot in the WhatsApp, and you, you can see it. Right now? The, the, problem, the problem with me was the two and three answer. Uh, I don't know if you look at that. The platform accept uh, number two more beautiful, only that. And Dan? It's not accept the platform. But it's incorrect. Yes, it's incorrect, but the platform accept the more beautiful, only that. Yes. But more what that was like the this. correct answer, but the correct answer is more beautiful than. Yes, it's correct. And number three is more interesting that. And the platform uh, accept more interesting. Only but it's an issue with the platform in the yeah. number uh -huh. two and number three. Yes, you're, 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 an issue. Right. you're absolutely right. Um, I will I will report it. Okay, I will okay. report it tomorrow uh, because okay. uh, the correct the, the co correct answer is the complete answer, which is uh, more beautiful than and more interesting than, right? So that that is the correct answer. Um, so I will report it. Okay, so we'll we'll see what what happens. Okay, all right. Okay. Thank you for letting me know. Mm -hmm. Okay. Anything else? Any other issues? No. I right. I know that it's more beautiful than. Sorry, what was that, Sherman? I wrote. I wrote more beautiful. This is the correct. Is more beautiful than. This is the correct, but. Mm -hmm. Because in the, in the software only accept more beautiful, yeah. But I wrote only more beautiful. And give me okay. Right, the platform right now is accepting more beautiful, but yeah. the correct, correct answer should be more beautiful than. So. Yeah. The, the platform will accept that, yes, because the platform right now is not configured in the correct way. It's not programmed with the correct answer. Does it has happen? happened in the past. When they fix it, we need to adjust, make it again. The, uh, yeah, that's what I was going to ask you. Um, in the past, when they've uh, fixed a, a problem, have you had to go back and yes. um, change? Yes. yes. Oh, okay, okay, all right. Yeah, so probably hold off on that until they fix it because anyways, they're gonna have to go back and fix that one. So, you know, just, just probably hold on to it and uh, we'll try to figure that out. Um, I will report it and hopefully it will be solved soon. Okay, I'll let you, uh, as soon as it's solved, I will let you guys know, okay? Okay, right. thank you, teacher. You're welcome. Okay, anything else you want to ask about? No. No, nothing else? Okay, all right. In that case, guys, um, we're going to begin. Um, please tell me if you can see my PowerPoint. Cheers, teacher. Yeah. yeah. Okay, wonderful. So this is the intermediate module one, it's unit one, the restaurant industry. And today is Wednesday, July 7th, 2021. It's day number two and facilitator is Jessica Guerrero. Okay, so let's begin. Um, this was actually some exercises I asked to do for homework. I told you guys that it shouldn't take you more than 10 minutes and I really don't think it did. I, did anybody take more than 10 minutes for this exercise? No, no right? No, I, no. I really don't think so. Okay, so let's check the answers. Let's see what you guys got. 
Okay, so let's begin with Okay, so let's start with, um, so delivery is more, uh, is more convenient than takeout. Number two, their beverages are? Cheaper than. Cheaper than. Okay, how do you spell it? Cheaper. C-H-E-A-P-E-R. Okay, excellent. Face. Now remember that cheaper. We so just have right. to. Um, it's just it's uh, just adding er, and the reason is because the word cheap yeah, like is only one syllable, right? Cheap. So because it's only one syllable, you're just going to add the er. That's it. Okay. And then we have the word than. Okay. So cheaper than. Okay. Okay, there you go. Number three, French restaurants are more romantic. More romantic. All right. Then, mm -hmm. Again. Or more, more, more romantic. Romantic. Than. Romantic. Than. 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 As food restaurants. Good, more romantic than fast food restaurants. More romantic than, <clears throat> okay? Why? Because romantic is, how many syllables is romantic? Three. 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 Right, romantic, yes. so that's three. So that's why we have to say more yes. romantic than, okay? All right. All right, number four, the buffet at Ming Lin's restaurant is? More complete. Okay. Why? Because how many syllables is complete? Three. I I heard only two. Yeah, two, exactly. So yes, so complete. 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 Yeah. This is an oh. exception, teacher. No. Uh no, actually no. Re the, the truth is that um, adjectives that ha have two syllables, we're normally going to put the word more, um, except the syllables that finish, the, 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 the ones that are two syllables and finish in Y, right? So to give an example, like easy, um, ugly, um, funny. Okay, so with these ones, um, these adjectives with these adjectives that are two syllables e, z, ugly, funny, all of them have two syllables and they finish in y. So what happens is that we do not add the word um, more to this, to the beginning. So we don't say, we don't say more easy, more ugly, more funny. No, we don't do that, okay? Instead, what we do is we okay. take this, and we eliminate the Y, okay? And all of them, we eliminate the Y. And then what we do is we add, an, and to replace the Y, we add the letter um, I, okay? In all of them. So we have, Okay, so we are replace it. And after that, we add the letter, the, the two letters ER to them. Okay. Then it becomes easier and uglier and funnier. 
Okay. So that that's basically that that's the rule um, that with all the two syllable adjectives, we're going to add the word more like complete, which has two, except when the 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 two the two syllable adjective finishes in y. Does that make sense? Teacher, um, sorry, um, we have to apply this rule only with this type of, of verb, like um, finish with the letter Y. With the adjectives that finish in Y, yes. Okay. Any other questions that you guys have? No? Okay, all right, let's continue with number five. What is the answer for number five? So the service has to Faster than. Faster than. Faster than. Good, that is faster than the yeah. restaurants we went to last week. Okay. Um, good, next. And the ambience is uh, Javi's in Javi's kitchen is more, more appealing. More appealing. appealing. Okay. Uh, How do you pronounce that adjective? Appealing. 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 More appealing down. Is it like an attractive? Yeah. No. Appealing. Sorry? What is, what is it's the like, meaning? It's like an attractive. No. Yeah. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll explain in a moment. Okay, so appealing, uh, we use the word more because it's appealing, three adjectives. So that's why we say the ambience in Javi's kitchen is more appealing than the food they sell. Okay. All right. Now, what is appealing? Yes, appealing is attractive. Something that catches your attention, it attracts you to it. Hey, teacher, I have a question. Uh, ambience is similar to atmospheres? Right, yes. Mm -hmm. yes exactly. Okay. okay, we can use the, the buff. Um, yeah, but honestly, it's more common to use the word atmosphere. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, but yes, it is possible. Okay. All right. Um, any questions about these answers? No. It's all clear? Yeah? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Okay. Good. All right, let's move on then to the next part, which is a speaking activity. So what we're going to do for the speaking is we're going to brainstorm a list of other restaurants, um, uh, other restaurant services you have experienced. So I, I want you to think about the restaurant service you've had in your life. Okay. Or, if, you know, you probably have a lot of um, restaurant service experience. Now, if you have gone to many, many restaurants and you can't think of so much information, think about the, one, the ones you have been to recently, okay? Are they as popular as delivery or takeout? And why do you think so? Okay, so I'm going to get you guys to work in pairs. Um, uh, Pupusterias, um, sure, we can use pupusterias. Um, now, I, I, if, if you use pupusterias, I would um, strongly suggest that it would be like a, some sort of pupusteria that maybe is a little more like uh, famous, you know, that, you know, that it, it would be a little bit, you know, better to judge it, you know, so... 
Um, but other than that, like, yeah, you can go ahead and use talk about pupusidias too. Sure, why not? Right? Uh, after all, those are the most common restaurants in El Salvador, right? So go ahead, that's no problem. Okay, so we're going to be um, doing that. Precisely, we're going to be working on the speaking, okay? So I'm going to get you to work in groups. Let me see. Um, uh, let me see. Um, uh, Warner, how many devices are you on? Two, two teacher. Okay, thank you. Just give me a second. Okay, all right, so I'm going to open up and the idea here is to discuss um, your experiences with the restaurants, right? Um, you know, talking about the delivery, the takeout, et cetera, et cetera. Okay, so, I'm, and because they're gonna be about, you know, three of you, sometimes even four, I'm gonna give you enough time. So I'll give you about 10 minutes to work on this, this activity, okay? Um, or maybe even more. I want, you, I want you guys to really get into it. So I'll give you 13 minutes. Hour. Okay? <laughs> yeah, that would be great. <laughs> uh, but no, let's actually keep it at, I'll give you 13 minutes and depending on, what I minutes. See, uh, depending on what I see, I'll give you a little bit more, right? So if you guys need it, I'll go ahead and give you more. Okay, so let's open up the groups. 45 minutes, right? <laughs> uh, well, we'll check, well, We'll, we'll, we'll continue talking in 45 minutes, yes. <laughs> okay, so go ahead, join your group. on the you currently with okay mm. one of my favorite restaurants maybe is don't leave that's a Chinese restaurant and they don't have delivery maybe take out uh but not delivery um i don't know pupuseria lilies that's uh, that's another restaurant uh they have uh, no they haven't uh, delivery, just work with, if you want uh, the pupusas in your house, you have to use the app like Pedidos Ya or Ugo, maybe. Okay. Uh, what else? What about What's you, that? Francisco? In my case, I visit the restaurant. Uh, your name is uh, La Palma uh, in Lake Guatepec. Guatepec. Uh, Palmera, Palmera. La Palmera, okay. yes. Uh, they have my, a, a bot, yeah. I don't know. The, how do you call the, the bot? The bot? And the ferry. The same is You know, only, only that the difference with the fast food is for your compare the different, like the Pizza Hut or other one, because they have the service at the table. It's a very strong, the difference. So it's a pop for your compare. Okay. Yeah. Um, yeah. Can you just tell me? The milestone is an idea, the new idea, I think. 
but the fear but in the hot food, the difference in the hot food, in the thermal, is a polio compare. You see the difference. And the rest, do you agree? Uh, I think that we have to talk about the restaurant that we visit every, no, I don't know, maybe weekend. Uh, the experience for everyone in different restaurants for example, I I have been in Burger King, and the they are popular uh, table service and and they have Burger King don't Burger King don't table service in the fast food only for I do like that the tacos. Yes, I'm really like the tacos. Okay, do you listen to something about the Juanta Queria is near to the Auca? In my, in my case, uh, they don't have uh, uh, delivery. You must go at the restaurant and stay, take your place. In, I don't know, what, what about you? In the restaurant, well, in my favorite restaurant, um, the takeout is the famous because uh, you can call and uh, twenty five minutes you you can go to go out to the order and. Uh, it's um, it's very nice because don't 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 pay the money. <laughs> In Santa Ana, delivery is very uh, expensive. I don't know why, but uh, I prefer the old people prefer takeout. What about you, Jose? Uh in my case uh, to Loquilta, uh, the most common uh, thing it is uh, take out uh, because uh, you only go to the pupuseria and order and then take and you go to the your home to to eat with your family uh, so um, take out is the most common yes yeah. I think it's a salvador or is that delivery because uh, it is the downtown you know? and so delivery is uh, for me I, but in San Salvador uh, it is cheaper than the another place because uh, uh, San Salvador is the downtown and we live uh, so far away from San Salvador. Yes, because the competition of the delivery services is, is bigger than outside of this. Really interesting experience because there, there is a um estero no sé cómo se dice in this teacher how do you say estero in this estero jaltepeque for example oh that's um ah oh, it's amazing <laughs> um A little lake. <laughs> uh -huh, something like that. Um. <laughs> something like that. I, I, I am thinking I can explain in Spanish. <laughs> no, sé, no sé cómo se dice. No sé qué es tampoco en español. Man. I think it's I think it's estuary. 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 Can you write it, please, teacher? Sure. Mm. Yes. I think that's how you spell it. Okay, thank you. It's uh, oh, sorry, you sorry, no, sorry, 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 sorry. No, I spelled it wrong. It's the other way around. It's story. Let's see. Story. With the U at the B, yeah. Okay. That's U-A, not, not A-U. 
Okay. Estuary. 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 Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. Okay. Yes, to, uh, okay. I am um, the last uh, restaurant I visited is uh, the Pampa, uh, La Costa, and there is a estuary. <laughs> it's, a, it's a very interesting place. Uh, I don't know if if, if you have uh, went um, to the to that restaurant, girls, or you you meet there. No. No. No, I never go no. to the to the Pampa La Costa. Only this is the one that I am talking about. Benihana, yes. They ben cook in, oh. in I guess because it's like Japanese or Chinese food. I don't remember. But those uh, are the, the only two. No, Beni ben, ben, she is, is Benigan's, the other restaurants. Uh, no, no, no. The you one see, that I'm talking see, about is Ben, I guess it. it's Benihana. Benihana is, is Benihana. Benihana is in the same place in La Gran Vía. And they yes. have some tables where they cook in front of you and you eat right there. Yes, Benihana. It's delicious. What, uh, what, what, uh, is, is, is Japanese special, food? Is, is, is Japanese food? food. Uh -huh, but the specialty is that you are looking at that they're preparing your food in front of your eyes. And they, there some, are different tastes. Steak? The no, no, no. Meat? It's Japanese food. You can look at uh, uh, some pictures when you look at it's Benihana. B E N I H A N A. But the first B is B as a boy. It's Japanese food. That's oh, strange okay. experience. Uh -huh. That is because of that, I think it's so many the strange things. Because talking about flavors, oh, a lot of good restaurants <laughs> and pupuserias. <laughs> oh. Okay. And what else has got uh, another restaurant besides the Hacienda Real? I, I, live, I live in Santa Ana and I love to eat Bam Bam Cafeteria. Oh, the bun. I, I don't know if you try. It's delicious. <laughs> I love to eat the coffee sweet. break. The coffee yes. break. It's a cake. Oh. <laughs> I love to eat sweets about this cafeteria and I love to eat different kind of desserts. I love sweets. And I, I like a lot bun bun, but uh, I. I like um, a lot, or oh, I, I think uh, the tequeña is better than bambang. Bam. Yes. yes, it's better than cakes, but about yes. reposterias, I don't know how can I say in English, it's better than bambang. Bam. It's different, different kind of products are better in, in different places. About cakes, I think that the bamban is better than is uh, tecleña is better than bamban about cakes. But uh, 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 there are uh, uh, a point uh, the reposterias. I don't know how to say in English reposterias. Uh, the reposterias of tecleña are cheaper than bamban. And yeah. are very delicious. They're very delicious. For me, it's better than reposteria of Tiklenia. And it's cheaper than Bambang. Yes, it's true. It's true. I like a lot the uh, relámpago de toffee. Yes. De la, de, de la Tiklenia. Yes, I really choose. Mm -hmm. For any reason, I'm getting hungry. <laughs> in Bamban, in Bamban, I like it, the 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 breakfast. Ah, uh, the breakfast is delicious. Really? 
Yeah. Sorry, girls. Um, I was having a uh, an attack, uh, a a cough attack. I <coughs> excuse me. I was that's why I wasn't able to answer. But mm -hmm. um, when you say reposteria, are you talking about <coughs> excuse me, the food or the place? Um, the the food. food. Okay, so if it's um the food, it would be pastry. Pastry. Pastry and uh, pastry. Pastry. And then, and the place is a cashew. Bakery. bakery. Is it a place? Bakery. The bakery. It's a bakery. Mm. Ah, and it's a cake. And it's a cake shop. It's uh well, if they sell cake, yes, right, but um. If if it's just in general, um, that would be bakery. a bakery. Mm -hmm. the bakery is like a bread, and cake is like a cakes. I don't know. Um, it's the same. Well, bakery is more in like it's all everything that you can bake. Mm -hmm. Okay, bake is hornear, right? So anything mm -hmm. that you bake, that's the bakery, mm -hmm. right? But no, okay. like a cake mm -hmm. store is a, a specific type of bakery where they only sell cakes. cakes. That's their specialty. Okay? Oh. Mm -hmm. Right, but bakery refers to anything that you bake. Mm -hmm. And the word- Teacher, I, I have a doubt. Uh, for example, the name of the different pastry uh, you don't have to to translate to English. For example, relámpagos or herraduras. <coughs> no. No, because they are proper names. That's a proper name. Um, it's like it's like it's like if we wanted to translate El Salvador in English. We we cannot say I am from the Savior. <laughs> <laughs> right? I, it, that's I live in the savior. No, right? You, you can't do that. So with proper names, you do not translate them. Mm -hmm. So the same thing. Like if it's the proper name of a pastry, no. Mm -hmm. uh, okay. Okay. Now, if you Thank want you. to explain to somebody that would never know what a relampago is, mm -hmm. uh, because if you just say, oh, um, you know. You know, I, I know example, so, <laughs> so yeah, so uh, you would have to, you would have, and you can't just simply say, yes, I like lightning. Huh? Okay. <laughs> yeah, okay. So, that? <laughs> so, exactly. So you could say, I like a pastry that is called relampago in Spanish. Mm -hmm. How do you feel? How do you feel pastry? Pastry. I wrote in the chat. Ah, okay. Pastry in general and pastries uh, uh, like plural. In, in the name pastry, you include uh, pan dulce. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. 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 Well, um, I'm going to go back to the room. So I'll see you guys. Well, I'll see you girls in the main room. Okay, thank you. Okay, thank You're you. welcome. Thank you. Yes. Teacher, the breakout room is final. Is then. Hello, teacher. Sorry, I was in mute. <laughs> um, yes. How did you guys get to this, the room? Did you just leave? No, teacher. Uh, don't have a message and I don't know if the final but you came back to the main room yes oh. okay all right okay so I hope you guys had an opportunity of talking to your classmates yes yeah yes okay. teacher yes Good. yes okay excellent all right, so let's go ahead then and um, and continue with our class. So, um, see. 
Okay. So please um, tell me. Actually, um, before we get into this topic, it's almost nine o'clock. So I'm just going to go ahead and take attendance. Okay. So, yeah, that way we don't interrupt the next um, part of our class. Um, take a break. <laughs> not, a, not exactly a break. Uh, okay. All right. So, Ana Claudia? Present teacher. Javi? Present. Andres? Present teacher. Okay. Uh, Dennis? Dennis? No. Uh, Edgar? Present teacher. Um, <clears throat> Edith? You're not Edgar. Oh, sorry. Eh, Fedo. A Fedo. Eh, eh, <laughs> so, Edgar Mendivar. Yes, you're right. I forgot to mention the last one. Um, eh, Edith Jorleni? Edith Jorleni? No. Um, <clears throat> let me see. Um, Erwin? Hello. Present okay. teacher. Welcome. Oh, well, so, no, sorry. Not welcome. You're already, you've been here for a while. <laughs> okay. Um, Fabiola? No, right? Um, Heidi? Present teacher. Okay. Uh, Irene? Present teacher. Okay. Um, Ivan? Ivan? No, Ivan? Okay. Josue? Present teacher. Okay. Juan Francisco? Present teacher. Okay. Jury? Present teacher. Okay. Um, Luis Ernesto? Present teacher. Okay, good. Manuel Alejandro? Manuel Alejandro, no. Um, Natalia? Present teacher. Okay. Wendy? Present teacher. Okay. Werner? Present teacher. Okay. Yvonne? Present. All right. Uh, and Edgar Enriquez? Instead, Enriquez, I'm here. All right. Uh, Ellie? Present. All right. Jose Montes? Jose Montes? Present. Okay. Good. Uh, Jose Ayala? Present, teacher. Okay, good. All right. Perfect. So let's move on now that I have taken that attendance. All right, so today we're actually going to be learning. So we learned a little bit about um, comparatives um, yesterday, and today we're gonna actually be learning something else, which is um, words that we use to connect ideas, okay? So many times in a sentence, um, we have sentences that we can, or better said, in a paragraph, to give you an example, um, you can have sentences that you can put together um, to so that you don't, uh, you're not repeating the same thing, so that it's not boring. Um, and but we need to be able to use words that will connect them, and that's what we're going to be learning today. So um, tell me, please, if you can see my PowerPoint. Yes, teacher. Yes. I can see it. Wonderful. Okay. So uh, those words that we use to connect are called coordinating conjunctions. Okay. Coordinating conjunctions. And why do we call them coordinating, con coordinating conjunctions? Because the word conjunctions means that you connect, right? And the word coordinating it means that coordinating is that you arrange something, you put it in order, right? That means coordinating, right? So to put it in the correct order. So these are basically words that connect and organize 
ideas, in other words, okay? So I need um, somebody to help me read. It says here, simple sentences with coordinating conjunctions or fanboys. All right, who can help me read? A volunteer? Um, okay, actually, let's give the opportunity to Natalia, since we haven't heard Natalia very much. Okay, so go ahead, Natalia. Okay. Thank you. Okay, and simple sentence with a coordinating conjunctions. Fan voice. An adjective clause, not clause, is also called a relative clause. Close. Or clause or clause? Clause. Clause. Claw. Clause. Clause. Yes. For explained reasons or purpose, just like because. Purpose. And purpose. Purpose. And adds one thing to another. Nor present an alternative negative idea to an already presented negative one. But shows contrast or present an alternative or a choice, yet introduce a contrasting idea that follows the presenting idea logically. So indicates effect, result, or consequence. All right, thank you very much, Natalia. I really, really appreciate it. Okay, excellent. So these words, um, they are used um, to connect basically two ideas in one sentence, okay? And the word for is similar to the word because, okay? Uh, the difference is basically that the, um, you're saying, this one is like uh, giving like um, the, um, how should I explain it? Um, you're, you're basically saying that the reason um, is like very important, like you're giving importance or uh, an emphasis on the reason, okay? <clears throat> um, and the word and is when we add one thing to another. So basically it's additional information. You have this information and let's add to that information. Then we have the word nor, which uh, is an, uh, an alternative ne negative idea. So basically we have two ideas, two alternatives, and we don't want this alternative and we don't want this alternative. So both alternatives are not possible, okay? That's what you're saying with the word nor. The but, word but shows contrast. Right, so you're saying you're just yeah you're just contrasting the idea. The word or is showing alternatives, and the word yet, the word yet is very similar to the word but. Um, but it, the the difference is basically that it that follows the preceding idea logically, okay, <clears throat> so. Um, the previous idea is very logical, basically, that's the idea. And the word so indicates effect, result, or consequence, okay, any one of these. Now, there is a specific reason why these words are put in that context or, or, or in that, better said, in that um, order. <clears throat> okay, so it's not like it's not, you know, a it's not a um, what's the word? Oh, I forgot the word. Oh, I, I forgot it's at the tip of my tongue. Um, coincidence. It's not a coincidence that they have put the, these words in the in this order, because actually, in order to remember these words. The best way that we can remember these words is by using the acronym FANBOYS. And FANBOYS stands for the word for and, and 
nor, but, but, or, yet, and so. So if you remember the word fanboys, you will remember the four, the seven words that um, create or that <clears throat> are included in the coordinating conjunction. Excellent. Okay. <clears throat> now, the way that, uh, that this works is basically we, we use We use this structure. We have the first sentence, and then we add the word, or then we add, we add a comma, okay, to connect the next idea, okay? So we use a comma, and then we use one of the coordinating conjunctions, right? It could be either for, and, nor, but, or yet so. And finally, we add the second idea, okay? So all of this is one sentence with, that is composed of two sentences and connected with one of the coordinating conjunctions. Is that clear? Okay. Okay. So yeah. far, so good. Yes. Okay. Good. Um, so let's, uh, since you guys understand this, let's give you some examples. First example, you can eat your cake with a spoon or fork. So here notice we are using the, um, the, uh, the coordinating conjunction or, and remember that or indicates an alternative or a choice. So here we have a choice. <clears throat> so you can eat your cake, you have two choices, with the spoon or with the fork, okay? So, but in this case, the comma is not applying, right? I will explain that in a moment, yes. Okay. Thank you for, for bringing that up. I'll explain okay. it in a moment. But that's still one sentence, let them need a comma. It's, <clears throat> it's, it's one sentence with two ideas. Okay, the first idea is you can eat your cake with a spoon. The second idea is you can eat your cake with a fork. Ah, I know, I know, I know. Right? Mm -hmm. But it's, okay. it's, it's um, to not to be repeating the same idea over again, you just use the word or to combine them. They make it simple and more interesting. <clears throat> okay, all right, let's continue with the next part. My dog enjoys being bathed but hates getting his nails trimmed. Okay. So um, the, the word but is a contrast, right? right? If you notice here, you're contrasting. So you're contrasting the fact of that my dog enjoys something. Enjoys something good, right? And then the other one is he hates, right? Which is the opposite of enjoy. So you're contrasting what he enjoys with what he hates. Okay. So far, so good. Yes, sure. Oh, yes. Thank you. Okay. Let's move what on. The to meaning, the what the meaning of uh, trimmed? Trimmed means um, to cut something, but just a little bit, just like oh, the yes. edges. Like when you cut your hair, right? Sometimes you don't want to cut a big part of your hair. You want to keep it the same length, but just a little bit shorter, just to make the hair grow, um, <clears throat> uh, grow healthy, right? So you say, I want to trim. So that means that they just cut a little bit. Okay. Hey, thank you. You're welcome. Any other questions? Okay. All right. Next. Bill refuses to eat peas. 
nor will he touch carrots. Okay, so here we have the word nor, and nor presents an alternative negative idea to an already present a pres presented negative one. So the 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 sentence that is negative that we are presenting is Bill refuses to eat peas. That's negative. He refuses. He goes, no, I don't want it, right? And then the second thing that he doesn't want is to touch the carrots. Okay. You can think of the word nor as the opposite of the word and. And you are connecting two ideas or you're adding more information, but to affirmative positive sentences. And this one is like you're adding another idea to, to negative sentences. It's like to say ni when you are speaking Spanish. Yes. Exactly. Okay, thank you. Mm -hmm. Okay. Sounds good? Yes. Yes. Okay. <clears throat> Next. I hate to waste a drop of glass, for it is very expensive these days. I hate to waste a drop of gas for it is very expensive these days. So um, you're saying the reason, you're giving the reason, because remember the word for is used to explain a reason or a purpose. But in this case, it's like giving more emphasis to the second part. Um, in this case, you're giving emphasis to the fact that the gas is very expensive. Okay. Teacher, but, but, but you can use because or not in, in, this, in this kind of sentence. Yes, but then it wouldn't be a coordinating conjunction. Okay, but, but okay. you can say, I had to waste a drop of gas because it's very expensive these days. Yes. It's correct. It, okay. Like grammatically speaking, it's okay. But you're just giving a different emphasis. Okay. Does that make sense? Yes. Does that make sense, everybody, or no? Did I just confuse yes, the clear. purpose? The purpose of the usage of the coordinating conjunction, yes. Okay. All right. Good. Okay. Let's go on to the next one. He is sad, but not broken. All right, so here we have the word, but, and but again is shows contrast. So yes, he's sad and the contrast not broken. Okay. Does that make sense so far? Yes. Yeah, okay, good. Next one, Alex stood first and got a prize. Alex stood first and got a prize. So the word and adds one thing to another. So you're adding two ideas that are similar. So he stood first, right? So if he was, he was the number one and he got a prize. So you're adding information. Not only was he number one, but he got a prize. Okay. Okay. Next one. Robin and Russell went to the beach. Sorry, Robin, Robin and Russell went to the beach. Okay. So here the word the same thing. And so we're saying Robin went to the beach. And the other idea, Russell went to the beach. So let's put them together and we'll say Robin and Russell went to the beach. So that's pretty clear. Sleep now or you will miss the class tomorrow. Actually, um, actually there, this one should have been with a comma. It's a C. 
And this one too. Yeah, this one. It's gonna be that one. Okay. Sorry. Go back to this one. So sleep now, or you will miss you will miss the class tomorrow. So in other words, we are given two alternatives. We have one, you go to sleep now. And the other, uh, the, the other alternative or the other choice is you miss the class tomorrow. One or the other, you decide. Okay. Robin did not try hard, so he did not succeed. So here the word so, remember going back to this, indicates effect, result, or consequence. In this case, there is a result, right? Robin did not try hard, so the result is he did not succeed. Okay. <clears throat> and finally, again, another word with the, the, with the four. I went to bed for I was feeling exhausted. The word, the, the, the primary thing that we are emphasizing here is the word, is the idea that um, I was feeling exhausted. Sounds good, everybody, so far? Yes. I just um, have the doubt uh, in regards to the commas, why they are added in some examples and, and is missing in other ones. Yes, very good. And that's my next point. Now, you will notice that in some of these sentences, we have a comma. In another, so you don't, right? And you probably are wondering because, well, according to the, to the rule that we, that we do have a comma. And yes, we do have a comma, but if you notice, the rule applies to um, sentences where we have one sentence and we have another sentence. That's when you put a comma, when you have two separate sentences. The problem is that not all of these sentences have two separate sentences. Instead, we have a sentence and a, and a phrase. To give you an example, you can eat your cake with a spoon. That's one sentence. Then we have the fanboy, which is the word or. Okay, let me circle this. And after the word or, what comes after the word or? Is there a sentence after the word or? No, it is a uh, noun. Exactly. We don't have a sentence. Instead, we have a phrase, or in this case, just simply the noun, fork. It's not, an, it's not a sentence. It's just simply the phrase or the, the word, right? In that case, it's not necessary to put a comma, okay? The same thing here. My dog enjoys being bathed. That's one sentence, it's complete, okay? And after that, we have the, con the, the according conjunction, but do we have a complete sentence in this after the word but? No. No, we don't. I don't know. Um because hates getting his nail trim is, is like a sentence. It's like a sentence, but what do we need to make a sentence? The subject. We and need the subject. a subject. Do we have a subject? No, we don't. No, we don't. Okay. So therefore this would be a verb, a, a verb um, clause. Okay. But not, okay. But not a sentence. It's a verb clause, but not a sentence. Sounds good? Yes, because it will be different if the sentence will be, but he hates. Exactly. If we were to change and we said, my dog enjoys being bathed, but it hates getting its it nails hates. trimmed, then we would have to put a comma. <laughs> it's a person. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Well, you know. Well, so so, some pets is like a person. Yeah, I agree. I agree. Yes, exactly. Okay. All right. Um, 
Now, this only applies, not, okay, this applies only to certain uh, coordinating conjunctions. Um, they are, these apply to the coordinating conjunctions, um, but, and, and, or. For the other ones, no. We always use a comma. Okay. Now, um, yeah, so if you notice the ones that don't have a comma are the ones that after these ones. Um, for example, like this one. Okay, so these two have commas. This one doesn't because after the word but, it's not a sentence. It says he is sad, but not broken. So not broken is not a sentence, right? Unless we said, but he is not broken, then, then we would have to put a comma. Okay, the same thing here, right? Um, Alex stood first and got a prize. The word, the got a prize is not a complete sentence, right? It's, a, it's an adverb clause, okay? All right, the same thing here, it happens here. Uh, we actually have just the name of a person, and then we have the complete sentence. Russell went to, to the beach, right? That's why we don't put a comma for the word and. Okay. Now over here, over here we do. We put the we put a comma. Why? Why do we put a comma in this one? Because you got because continue, continue with the sentence. You have the subject, the and person, you. Right. So we have sleep now is a sentence, right? Sleep now. Sleep, sleep now is, is a sentence because even though it doesn't have a subject, but this is a type of sentence. What do we call this type of sentence? Mandatory. Yes. And grammatically speaking, we call it an um, imperative. Right? Imperative is the word, okay. Imperative, which means that we're given an order or encouragement. And in that case, you do not need to use the subject because the subject is already implied, right? The subject is you all the time. So you sleep now, okay? And after that, we have a complete sentence. You will miss the class tomorrow, okay? <clears throat> Same thing here, okay? We have a one sentence is Robin did not try hard. Another sentence is he did not succeed. And that's why we, we put them together with the word so and a comma, okay? The same thing here. I went to bed for, I was feeling exhausted. Um, again, we have two separate sentences. I went to bed is the first one. I was feeling exhausted is the second one. Sounds good? Yes. 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 Not made Just sense. one question, teacher. Uh, could you give us an example using yet? Yes, I forgot. Uh, I, I just noticed that right now that I didn't include the word yet. I'll, I'll, I'll do that in a moment. But before I do that, let me point something out. I want you to focus on this sentence right here. Bill refused to eat peas nor will he touch the carrots. What do you notice about this sentence? What is special about this sentence? Will. Mm -hmm. I was going to ask you about that. Mm -hmm. okay. he, he, and must be he will? Why is will he? Yes. The reason is because the word nor is actually a very, um, it's an exception, okay? It's a special kind of coordinating conjunction. With this coordinating conjunction, um, we always, and let me, let me repeat that, always use an inversion, okay? What is an inversion? An inversion is when we use the form of a question. 
Think of it like that in a form of a question. Yeah. Yeah. So think of it like this. The, there's a question here. Will he touch carrots? No. Okay. So there is, so the word nor is special because after the word nor, uh, we always use After the word nor, we always use um, a inversion. Okay, so keep that in mind. There's always an inversion. Okay. Sounds good? What is inversion? How do you write down that uh, inversion? The word inversion? Yes, how do you write down this word? or verb yeah inversion inversion okay, okay. like like the opposite mm. it, that it means that it changes position mm -hmm. to invert mm -hmm. okay invert exactly to invert Okay. So right. in this case, I, I, I'm sorry, let me clarify. The, is this a question or not the second one? No, it's not a question. It's in the form of a question. Uh, it's okay. not a question. Okay. Okay. Got it now. Okay. All right. Okay. Sounds good. So we cannot use uh, two know, negatives. Yeah. To, we cannot double the negative. Yes, I understand it now. We cannot use one because nor implies is negative the second. Okay. Sorry, could you repeat that? I didn't get that. Yes. Uh, uh, yes, I understand now that even this every always when we use nor, both are negative. So that is the reason why we don't use. A want in this case because ah it's yes <clears throat> exactly uh right um bill refuses to eat peas that's bad right that he doesn't want it right he refuses it and the other thing is that he doesn't want to touch carrots he doesn't want to touch carrots that's negative but we are not going to use the word won't Right, we're going to use will. Why? Because the word nor already makes will. Makes negative. Any other verb will be negative besides the nor. Like it right. with the way you talk. I need your okay. Help. Got it now. Okay. Yeah. So, okay. Yeah. The Keep word nor. So, sorry, I'm just going to um, say something quickly. The word nor is similar to saying something like doesn't or don't, right? Mm -hmm. That it creates the sense, it, it creates the, the verb into a negative, right? So it's the same mm -hmm. thing with the with the will. The will with the nor makes makes it a negative. Exactly, got it now. Okay. okay. Uh, who else had a question? Uh, no, only say that almost in this uh, almost in the whole time we will use uh, nor first, and then we will use will, right? No. Most of the time. No, no. Uh, it's the inversion that she mentioned. Uh, in this sentence, yes, but no, not in all sentences. It's going to depend on the on the structure. Um, for I can use I can use do for example. Uh, I can say um, we don't. Um, we don't speak. Japanese, nor do we write it. We don't speak Japanese, mm -hmm. nor do we write it. So in that case, I'm not using will, I'm using do because the auxiliary I to use is do. Okay. It's not always gonna be will, it's gonna depend on the context. Okay, perfect. Okay. Any other questions? 
in the first sentence, yes, there is a possibility that we can add a negative form in the first sentence as you used it before. Oh, yeah. Okay, but for after not, North makes a negative. For example, negative. Bill doesn't eat peas, mm -hmm. nor will he touch carrots. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Okay, anything else? Mm -hmm. About next sentence expression, teacher, uh, where it says, I hate to waste a drop of gas for it is very expensive, for it is very. When, when, do you, when do you use that for it is very? I don't know, the usage of this. Of this. Um, like I said, it, the word for oh. is similar to the word because, it's just that here we're emphasizing the second idea. The same as because. It's like the same as because, but again, it's emphasizing the second idea. Okay. Okay. So basically, the the second i the the second idea influences the first one mm -hmm. greatly. Mm -hmm. So the most important part of the sentence here is this part. It is expensive these days. Okay. Got it. Now, um, I don't know why I, I forgot to put the, the word yet. So let's give you a sentence. Teacher. Mm -hmm. Teacher, um, uh, when, uh, when should I use the command in the sentence? When it's followed by a sen another sentence. Another complete sentence. Good Another subject. Complete. Like the ones she was explaining. If you look at the ones with a comma, there is a uh, subject, a verb, and a complement after. Yeah. So, if, for example, if you notice with the word fork or Kate's getting his nails trimmed or not broken or got a prize. All of those are not complete sentences. They are phrases or verb uh, or verb clauses. But they're not complete sentences because in order for them to be complete sentences, we need a subject and a verb, right? And they're not complete. So then we don't use commas. Does that make more sense? Okay. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Thanks. Yeah, you're welcome. Anything else? Any other questions? No question. No? Oh, teacher. Okay. All right. So I'll give you guys the sentence um, for the yet. Okay. Um, so the yet, if we notice, says introduces a contrast and idea that follows the preceding idea logically. So this is, we're talking something logical. Okay. For example, um, we can say, um, Like uh, I went to the class today, but I didn't do work yet. No, no, I'll, I'm going to show you.
so I don't confuse you. Okay. All right, so I don't normally like those flavors, yet they work really well together. Okay, so it means I have two flavors here. I have two flavors. <clears throat> and um, normally those two flavors are, you know, I don't like those two flavors, but we're contrasting them. We're contrasting the idea that I don't like these flavors, but they work really well together. Yeah, so here it's very similar to the word but, okay, except that here we're proceeding the idea logically. Okay, so, um, you know, to like, a, like apart, it's not very good, you don't like them, but together you do. Does that make sense? Yes. Yeah. Like, uh, for example, I think in uh, agridulce. Uh huh. That if you taste separate the every uh, ingredient, maybe mm -hmm. they don't taste good, but together, mm -hmm. something like that. I think. Yeah. It's very exactly. Sweet. Exactly. Yeah. So maybe you don't like, um, you know. Um, sour things and you don't like sweet things but maybe together you like those two flavors yeah okay got it but i see that sometimes yet it's like a function like um in spanish is aún for example uh she's not a girl and uh, not she's not a woman yet right but we're using the word yet as a courting conjunction, right? As a courting conjunction, okay, okay. it means similar to but. Como aunque. Aunque ellos funcionan bien juntos. Kind of, kind of. It's not the same usage we saw in the last curse, right? Because in the last curse, we saw the uses of yet in negative sentences. But in this case, it's a coordinating conjunctions, right? Mm -hmm. I don't remember, to be honest. Uh, I remember um, it was, there was a class. I'm going to look for it. Probably. I, I, to be honest, I don't remember right now. But, but you're probably right. Um, yes, it's, but in this case, it's not used like that. It's used as a courting mm -hmm. conjunction because what it does is it connects the two ideas. So whenever you see the word yet that is used to connect two ideas, it's used as a coordinating conjunction. So the first idea, just to make sure that you guys understand, the first idea is I don't normally like those flavors. The second idea is they work really well together. So it's something like that surprises you. Okay. And in that case, the word yet is used as a connector. If you want to look at it that way. Okay. It's a connector. Okay. So far, so good? Yes. A kind of. Huh? A kind of. A kind of. Sorry, I didn't understand. What was, the, what was that again? Could you repeat? A kind of. A kind of. More or less, yeah. Oh. Kind. Okay, you kind of understand it. Yeah. Okay, what do you not understand? I try to figure out because um, I guess that the yet like a uh I never heard that. Maybe I need to review more about it to try to understand the all. 
Yeah, just think of it the word yet as the word but. Don't com don't complicate it. Just okay, but it when, but. when are we going to use yet and when are we going to use but? Um, yet is more like a surprising contrast, something you kind of don't expect. That's it. Okay. 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 All right. Anything else? No. Okay, so this is a theory. Let's get into the practice. So, exercises. Add the corresponding punctuation to the sentences below, right? Check answers with a classmate. So we're gonna work with a, with a partner and we have here three sentences that I want you to discuss with a partner. Uh, where you're going to put um, the punctuation, right? The cor corresponding punctuation. And it shouldn't be too difficult, okay? So I'm going to get you guys to work in pairs. Um, and we'll discuss this. Give you five minutes. Um, it's fun. Give me a second. Okay, so everybody should have a partner and I'm opening all the rooms. Service and pieces are very good. Mm -hmm. Do you agree with that? Mm, I think this that sentence uh, doesn't have a, a comma. I think because there is no, no subject. I yeah, think. Yeah. Uh, uh, Yvonne, you got lost in the world. Oh. You got lost in the world. Se perdió en el mundo. No la I I I I'm not in the in my desk. I am in my, in oh, my okay. chair in a chair because I, I am with my my little dog. Oh. <laughs> He's very sleepy. <laughs> Okay, yeah, because we need to see you. Yeah, but I was like, where, where is she? She, she <laughs> <laughs> is only a voice in the space. <laughs> yes, exactly, a voice in space. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, uh, number two, restaurant need to offer specialty dishes, comma, and they have to offer take out in case you are in a hurry. Yeah, I'm not I'm agree. Okay. And delivery person arrived late, comma, so mm -hmm. we got the food for free. Yes. I oh, number one. Yeah, I, I only have the, the question. I, I think that is not a comma. Because there is no subject. Uh, yeah. Yeah, because their service is very is is for the restaurants. So. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you're right. But the same the the main subject is I got to expensive I go to expensive roaster restaurants. So mm -hmm. for me, I think it, there is no a, a comma. 
in in this in, in that case for for sentence uh, for the one sentences their service and dishes are very good okay only number two and number three okay yeah only and three only that right yeah i think yes um and the second one restaurants need to offer specialty dishes coma and they have to offer take up in case you are in a hurry i think the coma is is i uh, before n mm -hmm. i don't know if, if if you have another idea i i try to think logically <laughs> For this, um, restaurant need to offer special dishes. Is a sentence. Uh, mm -hmm. One sentence. Restaurants need to offer special, need to dishes. Offer special dishes. And then, the second idea is they have to offer takeout in case you are in a hurry. In a hurry. Mm -hmm. So you have to put a coma mm -hmm. uh, before the, the coordinated conjunction. Mm -hmm. That is N and connect the two ideas. It's, the second one is almost a complete sentence. They have, I think. Okay, the number three. Okay. <clears throat> um, sorry, Warner. I didn't. I, I didn't answer because we were, I was going to bring you guys back, anyways. Do you have a question? Everything's uh, here. After, the, after teacher. After. Okay. Okay. No problem. Sorry. I. I. Yeah. I just said I, I needed to bring everybody back. Okay. So, um, you guys ready? Yeah? Yes. Okay. All right. Yes. Let's, let's get the answers. So I go to the expensive restaurants for the service and dishes are very good. Where would you add the correct punctuation? With my partner, we have a discussion about that because the first one is very confusing. But I, uh, we think that uh, there is a comma uh, after after the the coordinated conviction for I go to a expensive restaurant, comma for their service and dishes are very good. So you would put it there. Yeah. Yeah, do you all agree? Is that where you would put it? I'm not sure because no. there is confusing. <laughs> yeah, Actually, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I, we don't use a I guess that is before the end, I guess. We don't use, we don't use the comma. Mm -hmm. Yes, I, I don't think yes. there is a subject. But let's yeah. wait, let's see, let's see. So, so I you think say that, that don't use any comma. If if you put the comma after restaurants, you have a complete sentence after that, right? Their service and dishes are very good. But if you are 
talk about uh, about and maybe it was a diploma. I don't remember how to call their hair, his, our. I, that is, I don't remember the name of those. So here is the first. The first idea is I go to the to expensive restaurants. The second idea is their services and dishes are very good. Do we have two complete sentences? Yes. Yeah. Is for yeah. uh, their service and dishes are very good. Explain or give a reason for uh, the person go to expensive restaurant. Exactly. This this part here, <clears throat> the the second part, the service and their service and dishes are very good. Is the reason or the purpose of going to expensive restaurants? Okay. So okay. yeah, this is the correct thing that you have to do. Next, restaurants need to offer specialty dishes and they need to offer takeout in case you are in a hurry. What do you need to do there? Uh, comma. Yes, use a comma before and. Yes. Use a comma before and. Yeah. Before after dishes. Before dishes. Uh -huh. After it dishes before and. Do you all agree with that? Yes. 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 Okay, and I do too. Okay, so the first idea is restaurants need to offer restaurants special need dishes. to offer special special dishes. Right. And the second and idea the second is and they have to offer takeout in case you are in a hurry. Good. Second idea is they have to offer takeout in case you're in a hurry. Okay. And the last one, the delivery person arrives so late, so we got to the food for free. So we got the food for free. Yes, there is a comma. Need to use a comma yes. before to stop. Stop. Or after late. After late. After late. After after late, late before to stop. Good. Okay. Good. Late. We are late. 10 o'clock. Okay. <laughs> exactly. Okay. So the delivery person arrived late. And the other idea is we got the food for free. Okay, so we we have complete ideas here, and that's why we use commas. Okay, and just remember that the the two the 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 two sentences are connected through uh, <clears throat> um, according conjunction. In this case, the according conjunction is for. In this one, it's and, and in this one, it's so. <clears throat> All right. Any questions? No. No. No teacher. No teacher. All right. Perfect. Attended. Um. Um. Actually, we're gonna do something else before. Um, <laughs> you need to get used that we never leave the class at ten o'clock. <laughs> 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 we can <laughs> okay um all right so the, we have a conversation here uh what we're going to do is uh, we're going to write a 10 line review of your favorite restaurant this is going to be for homework okay so we're going to write a 10 line review of your favorite restaurant okay um and you're gonna you're gonna talk about what services um they offer what characteristics make this restaurant good? You, I want you to be using both comparative adjectives and coordinating conjunctions. So you're gonna use both things, okay? So you have to, it's not just about using the coordinating conjunctions, not using all just the fanboys, not, don't just use for, um, and, nor, uh, but, or, yet, and so. 
it's not just about using that. It's also about um, using um, the comparative adjectives, which we learned yesterday. Okay. Sure. So, yes. Can you please uh, change the color of the text? Uh, sure, I could do that. Please. Yeah. Just give me a second. Okay, um, tell me if this is better. Just teach. Yeah? Yes. That is okay. better. Thanks. So Sorry. This looks okay. better than the other one. Okay, good, good, good. All right, so here we go. So we're going to be using comparatives and comparative adjectives. So that's what we learned yesterday, right? Using the more with uh, two or more adjectives, sorry, two more syllables in the adjectives, and using er only for one syllable adjectives. And then there's some um, the the irregular ones too, right? And um, you're going to be sharing your review with your facilitator and the class, classmates tomorrow, okay? So this is going to be your homework. Um, on top of doing the homework from the, from the platform, I want you to also write this review. Ten line, okay? Um, now, when I say ten line, don't make the, the line, don't make the, the, the letter like super big, you know? I want 25 to, size. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, I mean, something that's, you know, you know, you can, the idea here is to practice English, right? So, um, and, and I think uh, talking about your favorite restaurant, that's not difficult. I think we all have uh, lots of things to say about our favorite <laughs> restaurant, right? We can, we can talk about lots of things, you know, about the restaurant, why you like it, the things on the menu, the ambience, right? Or the, at, the atmosphere, um, you know, et cetera, et cetera. So you can, you can also compare it to other places, right? So the, lots of things to say, okay? The idea is to do a 10 line review. Sounds good? Yes. Yeah. Teacher. Any questions about the homework? Are we going to use just comparative, or we're going to use uh, the fans? Yeah. Oh, the, 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 oh the, what the we learned fans? yesterday and today. Yeah, the fanboys are the courting conjunction. So actually, let me. Okay, so I'll put it like this, so you guys don't get confused. Um, it's using the er. And the more. Then, okay. And the corning conjunctions, which are the fanboys. Fanboys. Okay. So just to make sure you guys do understand this. Is this a paragraph? Yes. Okay. Okay. So I hope that helps. Okay. Okay. Sounds good? Yes, yes. teacher. Yes, teacher. Okay. All right. So that's for homework. Yes, teacher. So this one is going to take you a little bit longer, right? It's, this one's going to take you, you know, I don't know, about 15 minutes, right? You don't have to write, a, you know, you don't have to go for like 30 minutes, but you know, maybe about 15 minutes, right? But but I think it's something reasonable. You can do it. I think it's okay. All right, so that's it. I'm going to now, now I'm gonna take the attendance. Let's do that. Um, let's see. Okay, uh, Ana Claudia? Present teacher. Eh, uh, Javi? Present. Eh, Andres? Present teacher. Um, Dennis? Dennis Orlando, no. 
Uh, Edgar Menjibar. Present teacher. All right. Um, uh, Edith Chorleni. No. Edith Chorleni. No. Uh, Erwin. Present teacher. Okay. Fabiola. Uh, Heidi. Present teacher. All right. Irene. Present teacher. All right. Uh, Ivan. Ivan? No. Um, Josue? Present teacher. Okay, great. Um, Juan Francisco? Present teacher. Okay. Um, Jerry? Present teacher. Luis? Present teacher. All right. Uh, Manuel Alejandro? Manuel Alejandro, no, right? Uh, Natalia? Present teacher. Okay. Um, Wendy? Wendy, 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 not when, when he's not here. No, she left, okay. Um, eh, Werner. Present teacher. Yvonne. Present. Okay. Eh, Edgar Enriquez. I'm here. Uh, Elis, Eli. Present. All right, Jose Montes. Present. All right, and Jose Ayala. Present teacher. All right, excellent. Okay, I've got everybody. So thank you very much, guys. Um, enjoy your evening and see you guys tomorrow. Okay. Okay, okay. good night, teacher. Good night. Good night. Bye, guys. Good night, everybody. Bye, everybody. Good night. Oh, by good the night. way, Andres, Andres. And this time sure. Yes, I'm here. I'm waiting. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I know. He's the lucky one today. <laughs> yes, you're the lucky one. Today I have to be. Okay. Bye bye. Okay. All right. So bye. 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 Okay. Bye bye. I I was I freaked out when I thought you had already disconnected. Okay. No, no, no. <laughs> okay. I, I, I just have a, a few a few questions. Okay, okay, good, good, good. No worries. Okay. So Andres, how 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 have you been? Uh, good to share. Mm. Yes. Good. Yes. Okay. Uh, All right. So for example, I, I want you to help me the difference when I have to pronounce pronounce close the server, the close the so I clear in the chat. La, la palabra que dijo ahora es oh ajá clause 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 the difference okay. between so, clause and clause close es cerrar uh -huh. but but ajá uh -huh. close yeah. so okay. I have to close and clause how do you, what the difference between both words close close o o Okay, close, close. Oh, close, and the other one. So um, the 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 vowel is o, right? Close, and the other one is claw, ah, claw. Class. Do you the letter U? I don't have to pronounce. Only class. Claws, yes. Claws. Yeah, the, the U the U is not really pronounced, it's kind of silent. So you don't pronounce it, you say clause. Clause, clause, okay. And the other question is uh, for example in the in the sentence I had I hate to waste a drop of gas for it is very expensive these days. How do you trans translate for it is very expensive these days in um, the word for? Uh -huh. Right. It's kind of like when you say in Spanish, um, puesto que. Oh, puesto que. Kind of like oh. puesto que. So it's, um, so it'd be like, uh, where is it? So um, I hate to waste a drop of gas and um, 
odio tener que malgastar una, una gota de gas, eh, puesto que es muy uh, caro estos días. Okay. Uh, in this other sentence, uh, for example, I don't normally do flavors. Uh, when we use jet, it says jet together, they work really well together. I don't know if I, I have a, a mistake, but you say that sentence. Yeah, yeah, I, I, I wrote that sentence down because I had forgotten to write a sentence with, um, a, with the word yet, so I wrote it down. Yeah. Um, yet we can say like it's similar similar to but. Oh, but. Okay, it's like it's similar to but or like sin embargo, right? Kind of like sin embargo. Okay. So it's kind of like think about like okay, it's saying like normalmente no me gusta esos sabores. Sin embargo, juntos um, su, um, saben muy rico. Okay. And the last one is la separación de sílabas en inglés es diferente a español o porque por ejemplo casa son dos sílabas ajá pero no sé si hay alguna diferencia en separación de, de sílabas no no because in English you can have more than like usually in Spanish two letters uh, two vowels will not go together, right? Normally, um, well, you, well, well, yeah, you can, right? But um, in English, sometimes they go together, sometimes they don't. And in English also, you can have many consonants together. Like yes. think about, for example, the word, think of the word school. Right? School is one syllable, but it's composed of three consonants at the beginning, two vowels, and a consonant at the end. So, oh, okay. so it, in, 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 in Spanish, normally the, uh, the, the syllables will go a consonant and a vowel, mm, yes. normally in Spanish, yes. right? But in English, no. In English, you can have many consonants together and many vowels together. Okay, but I think that maybe in the future we will have a, a class talking about this. Um, sure, we can talk yeah. about that. Yeah, okay. I'll, I'll take it into consideration so that we can incorporate a, maybe not the whole class, right? But like um, a, a, yes, we can we can have like a mini section talking about that. Yes, okay. yes, that's not a problem. Mm -hmm. That's all, teacher. Okay, no problem. No problem. Thanks for your help. You're welcome. Is it, everything okay in the platform? You already um, started looking at the platform. Yes, I I start to work in the first homework. Just uh, today, I I work in that. Oh, okay. First okay. Homework, huh? okay, yeah. Just um, like I was saying, um, maybe it would not be a good idea to do exercise two and three right now because if they're going to be changing it, then um, you're going to have to work on it again. So probably don't do that. Don't waste your time doing that. But you can start with the second ex um, the second um, uh, homework from okay. the second day. Okay. Okay, teacher. All right. Okay. Okay. Anything okay. else, Andres? Like anything else, uh, else I can help you with? No, teacher. Just that. Okay. Thanks. Thanks. Okay. And have a good night. You too. You too. Have a wonderful night, Andres. Okay. Take care. All right. Bye.